you have put a lot of time into Phantom Doctrine. I at sure this point, did. Which is 80s spy themed XCOM. Yeah. From the creators of Hard West, which is an XCOM like game that came out a couple years ago. Yeah, that you uh, probably haven't heard of. But Wait, people like did it. Did you play that one? I don't remember that I one. I didn't play either. that one. No. Okay, the Creative Forge Games, this is Polish uh, development house over here. Yep. Um, what do you think about Phantom Doctrine? Uh, I liked it a lot, but with some kind of major caveats to it. What does it get right? Uh, the kind of stealth aspect of going through levels. It's like XCOM is what he means. That's what it gets But right. the stealth thing is just a little more like XCOM, XCOM 2 then, I guess, where you don't want to you know, trigger everything to kick off yeah, the, the encounters. It It is kind of the opposite of what I of the experience that I always got and liked from XCOM, I kind of went into this thinking, okay, you know, turn-based combat, you know, lining up shots and all that kind of nonsense. Overwatch, I get it. Yeah, and you don't want to be doing that in this game. If you get into open combat, you have probably done something wrong. Because hmm. spies aren't into open combat. Yeah, they, they're, they go around, they sneak around and, you know, knock people out from behind and that yeah. kind of thing. So you can knock, you can take somebody out in one hit usually? Yeah, if y the uh, the only uh, thing is that your health bar, you, you know, your health points or whatever has to be higher than the other person. And so uh -huh. that, that kind of creates this race of constantly upgrading your agents and recruiting new agents that have higher, you know, hit points and stuff like that. Okay. But otherwise, every character has the ability, if you sneak up and are right next to someone, you can knock them out. That's cool. It's got a cool overall vibe, too. A lot of... A lot of haze, a lot of saxophone. Yeah. It's got a cool feel to it. Yeah. But it's 1980s. It What's the it's 80s, 80s vibe for uh, three? Two. It's kind one. of it's Cold War Contact. Cold War kind of vibe to it. Okay. And how's okay. the overall story? Uh you know, they it's you're going up against a shadow organization that's kind of responsible for every conspiracy theory you could think of. So it, it's not super serious. Uh -huh. They kind of do things with hidden, you know, moles in your organization and stuff like that. That's kind of interesting, but it, you're probably not going to be playing this for, you know, the surprise plot twists or anything. Right. Like okay. Yeah. But overall, I mean, you'd recommend it better than Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Uh, no, probably not. I, okay. I think. Mario and Rabbids would appeal to a lot more people. Of For this one, you have to A, be into XCOM, and B, be open to something that's more complicated and slower than XCOM as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And th uh, there, are, there are a lot of different gameplay systems uh, in Phantom Doctrine, and they aren't explained well, and so you kind of have to figure them out on your own. I really envy people who are going to play this post-launch, where I'm sure there are going to be a million, you know, Wikipedia sites and stuff like that, kind of, that kind of break down how all these things work and answer your questions. Right. But otherwise, you're kind of going through trial and error and trying to figure these things out. And when you're trying to, you know, come up with a long-term plan for for you know how you're going to manage your base and what upgrades you should buy and stuff right like not knowing you know being kind of fuzzy on the specifics for that kind of stuff is frustrating yeah, the, the in the beginning right the management yeah. seems like it very systems heavy to the point yeah. that when we recorded that new gameplay today video leo vader is watching it and it was basically the vince mcmahon gif of him like watching the muscular guys come out he's like whoa whoa mm -hmm. and then falling out of his chair because he's so <laughs> into it yeah and and all that stuff was Really cool to me once I figured out how it was all working. And, okay. Uh, and, you know, taking over enemy agents and converting them and all that Torturing kind of them? Uh, y well, interrogating Hanson. Mm. We don't just torture for no reason. I understand. Well, yeah. depending on who you are. I love that XCOM is a like, genre of game now. It's like, the it new really rogue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like turn-based strategy games have been around for a long time, but for some reason XCOM just like nailed a specific like mm -hmm. version of it that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And, and, really and I really like, like that people are finding their own spin-offs and kind of doing unique things yeah. in that area. And I think, I think like GameSpot's Mike Mahardy was tweeting about this recently, but despite Kingdom Battle existing and being super solid, wouldn't it be nice to have Enemy Unknown on Switch? Oh, yeah. It's on a yeah. phone. It's 100%. on everything. It's on, is it on Vita? Or is that another one that they were I talking don't about? I don't know if they did it, but... Yeah, just put it on the new Vita. The Switch. The Switch, yeah. God, wouldn't that be great? God, I want it. Uh, anyways, review on the site soon? Soon, yeah. Do you have a review score locked down yet? Not yet. Okay, Phantom Doctrine yep. is the name of this game. Forgettable name, perhaps, but worth a look. Yeah. 
Okay, we did a new gameplay today video if you want to check that out. That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.